So let's set up a keyboard input system with the help of GF GLFW. So first of all, I'm going to define a key, key callback function. And it will take parameters window key scan code action and mode first of all i'm going to set the escape key so if you press it the application will stop running so if key equals equals glfw and glfw key escape with capitals capital letters key escape and uh, action equals equals glfw dot press yes then glfw that set window should close um, window underscore should close yeah window should close the window object and to true okay and we need to call this function every time a uh, key is pressed so as with the uh, set window size callback i'm gonna make it here so uh, glfw that set key callback set key callback yeah on the window and Key underscore call back. So every time I push a key on my keyboard, this will run this set key callback, and this function, GLF function, will call the key callback function which we defined here. Key callback. So let me test this. So now I'm going to press the escape key and it works okay. So let's continue. The next thing I'm going to define a boolean array. So keys equals false time is 1.20.10.24 so now we created a boolean array of falses 1024 falses and why I created you will see so let's create another if statement so if key is bigger than or equal to zero and key is uh, less than 1024 then another if statement and if action equals equals glf press glfw dot press done set keys at position key to true uh, okay and we need an elif or else if action equals equals glfw dot release yes then keys at position key set back to 
Falls. Okay. So let's test this. Uh, I'm going to print out something. Print, let's say, glfw dot with the capital key underscore w. So every key has a number. So if I run this, this will print out uh, 87. So which means we have created this boolean uh, list or array with uh, 1024 falses. So here we're saying if the key is bigger than or equal to 0 and the key is less than 1024 and if action equals glfw press then keys which is this list keys at position key so key is just a number like this 87 then set this to true and if elif if the key is released then set it back at, at that position to false so in the camera class i'm just created a uh, a constructor which creates uh, four vectors camera position camera front camera up and camera right vectors and I'm going to create uh, a new function called uh, get view matrix yes get view matrix and it will return the self that look at so it will return this function look at which we created in the last video and uh, with the self self dot camera position camera position yes self dot camera position plus the self that camera front camera front and uh, the world app is self that camera up okay get the view matrix and another function I will define which is will be called uh, process process keyboard process underscore keyboard and it will have two arguments so the direction uh, direction and the velocity velocity Okay, so if direction is equal equals forward, if direction equals forward, then self dot camera position, self dot camera position plus equals self dot camera front times the velocity velocity okay now do the backward so if direction equals let's word backward then self dot camera position minus equals self dot 
camera front times the velocity. Okay, and do this for the left and the right, but to go a little bit uh, faster, I'm just going to uh, copy and paste this. So if direction equals left, left, then self dot camera position minus equals self dot camera right. Copy and uh, control Z. So for the right, the camera position will be plus equals self dot camera right times the velocity. So the last function we are going to define is in the main application this do movement function but first of all I'm going to just cut this camera object and place it here Okay, so I'm going to delete this. So let's define do underscore movement movement So if keys at position glfw dot key w with the capitals capital letters then come come that process key process keyboard and give it the forward forward if it's forward then and the velocity will be 0 0.05 and if keys at glfw dot S and camera that process keyboard backward backward and the velocity is 0 0.05 and uh, let me copy this to save time. So if key underscore A then camera process keyboard oops left control C and if it's D and this change the right and camera process keyboard uh, right and the velocity is 0 0.05 okay so now in the main loop after the pull events I'm going to call the do underscore movement and I'm just going to 
delete this. We don't need it anymore. And the view will be the camera dot get view matrix. Okay, I think if everything's all right, it should now work. So let me see. So I'm pressing the S key. Yes, it moves backward. The W key, it moves forward. The A key moves left. The D key moves right. Yeah, I'm going to throw this cube. So now I'm looking inside the cube. <laughs> so in the next video, I'm going to implement mouse uh, to rotate the view with the mouse, like in, in an FPS game. So the code will be uploaded to GitHub and uh, the, the link will be in the description. So thanks for watching.